quiet moment, a peaceful day, thanks to Jesus Christ, will live beyond the end of days. Good is evil, and evil is good. God's righteous anger kindled up above. As in the days of Noah, so it will be at the end. Many will not believe until Jesus Christ descends. Jesus is coming back. Is your heart ready for that? If he were to descend, on whom would you depend? People like Bill Gates or God who effortlessly creates. Where would your hope be? If not God, then all is vanity. A whole generation, a spiritual degradation, no comprehension of a physical to spiritual transcendental ascension. A whole generation hostile toward God, how we've been mistaken. God is the source of life. Now is the time to get right. Get right with Jesus Christ. Who knows, tonight may be your final night. Isn't it funny how we can look at the skies, feel the atmosphere, feel the humidity, feel the contrast between the cold and the hot and know that something's going to happen. The Bible tells us that we can tell the weather, we can feel it in the air, but we cannot tell the signs of the times. When Jesus was asked what it's going to be like before his return, he says, just like in the days of Noah, it will be. And in the days of Noah, People were going about the business, they were getting married. They were doing everything but paying attention to what God was doing. The Bible tells us that in the days of Noah, there were days of violence, real enmity between man and God. Genesis 6, 5 says, the wickedness of man was great in the earth and every intent and every thought of his mind, of his heart was on evil. It's their heart was so sick, so deceitful, that they went around inventing new ways of evil, day in, day out, continuous. Their sin was great, and God had warned them for 120 years, if you do not turn from these ways, if you do not turn from this wickedness, I'm going to deal with it. It's the right thing for me to do. I am loving, I am patient, and I am merciful, but if you do not stop, I will deal with you, I'll flood the earth. But there was a man called Noah, and the Bible tells us Noah was a preacher of righteousness. Although he wasn't perfect, he feared the Lord, he walked with the Lord, he loved the Lord, and the Lord gave him favor for it. He found favor with the Lord God Almighty. So in amongst all of these people who were going about their business, living vile, sinful, dark lives, not given, any attention to God, not given any attention to the right thing to do. Noah was there. And he would have preached to them, repent, turn from your ways, come to God. He is going to punish this world. He's going to flood it. The skies are going to open. Rain is going to come down. And you're going to be wiped out. Repent. And these people would have looked at Noah and thought he was crazy. God, God's going to do that? God's going to open up the skies and water's going to come down? Noah, that's never happened in this day and age yet. Where's your evidence? Prove it. I don't believe you. Look at you. Building the ark. Telling me that God is going to punish me for my wickedness? Surely Noah's the one not right in the head. Surely Noah is the one who's wrong. Leave me alone. I don't want to hear about you and your righteousness. I don't want to hear about you and your God. Leave me alone, Noah. Shut up. Get cancelled. They didn't want to hear it. And I say to you today, we have surely out those in the days of Noah. Surely we have out those of Sodom and Gomorrah. We think of evil in our hearts day in and day out. Just look at what we have on the internet. Just look at how violent we are with one another. Just look at the sexual perversion around us. Oh my goodness, surely we're deserving of God's wrath. Surely. And in this land I've told you that person after person has walked past me saying, shut up, keep that message to yourself. I've not seen any evidence of Jesus Christ coming back. I don't believe you. And just like in the days of Noah when they thought he was crazy and they did not repent, guess what happened? It started raining. And right now it's just started raining over you guys and you all ran indoors. 
you all put your umbrellas up, you all try to get out of the rain. I want to tell you here today that when the Son of Man comes in the clouds, there's going to be no escape. There's going to be nowhere to run. The wrath of God will be poured out on all sin and all darkness and all evil. But I want to tell you that there is a hope. There is an ark here today for you. See, just like God instructed Noah to build an ark and bring his family in for safety so that they would not perish, I say to you today, come to Christ. The Bible told us that once and for all he paid the cost of your sin so that you would be not washed away by the wrath of God, but your sin could be washed away by the Son of God, by the blood of Jesus Christ. See, this is the good news, because we could not save ourselves. We cannot save ourselves, but Jesus Christ came that whilst we were indifferent, whilst we were in all of that vile, evil stuff that I mentioned, he came and died so that those who will repent and believe, put their faith in him, shall not perish but will have everlasting life. See, this is the good news and this is why we come out in the rain. Just like in the days of Noah, so it will be before the return of Christ. I want to ask you, are you prepared? I want to ask you, are you in the ark? Are you in Christ? Are you washed clean?